Hi. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about consciousness. And I wanted to describe different states of consciousness very much like gears in a car. So, we have four very definite states of consciousness. We have beta consciousness, which is what we're in most of the day. Alpha consciousness, which is what we have when we're sort of daydreaming. You know that time when you're driving your car and you, you miss your exit? You're in alpha consciousness then. Theta consciousness is what we are in when we're dreaming and we have rapid eye movement. And delta consciousness is the very slowest of brain waves. And that's when you're very, very deeply asleep. We know about these different states of consciousness because of the EEG machine. And we developed that machine to find out whether a person should stay on life support or not. But because we've gone further scientifically, what we've realized is that delta consciousness, when you're almost dead asleep, is about zero to five waves of brain activity per second. Theta consciousness is a little bit more. Theta consciousness is between about five and eight. That's when we really do our work because we process our day through our dreams in theta consciousness. Alpha consciousness is my favorite and that's what I'll be working with you in. That's when you're creative, sort of daydreaming. You're not going so fast. The brain waves are between eight and 15 waves a second. And then beta consciousness is 15 to 50 waves a second. That's when you do things like you're driving a car, you're talking on your phone, and you might even be turning around and giving your child a piece of cookie, you know, in the back seat. You can do multitasking and lots of things happen in beta consciousness. So understanding all of that, I wonder, why is it that most of us need sleep aids? It's because we're going from beta consciousness, which is kind of like being in fourth gear on your car, down to first gear. We now want to go to sleep, but we haven't done anything to go from first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, or reversing and slowing it down at night, going from beta consciousness to daydreaming, to the dream and then into being dead asleep. Because of this, if you think about you and your brain as if it were a car, what would happen if we took the car out and we went from first gear into fourth gear every day? If we woke up with an alarm clock and then had to all of a sudden multitask, what would we do? What would our car do? Our car would break. And in fact, that's what's happening with us. With our consciousness, it's very important to be aware of what we're doing and how we're maneuvering our lives into a more gentle way of waking up and beginning our day and a more gentle way of ending our day and starting our sleeping. And when we, when we work together, you and I, and we begin to change your thinking, and we begin to change and really evaluate your consciousness, what's really going on inside there, we're going to be working in a state called alpha consciousness. We're going to be working in a way that will allow you to have some very creative solutions to what's going on in your life, and we're going to change that unconscious thinking that's being commanded by your conscious mind. So when you're in beta consciousness, it's only really 5% of what's going on in your mind. The other 95% is what you've just been commanded to think and feel. So why don't we change that 5%, turn it into really positive, constructive, healing, self-promoting, wonderful thinking. And then, let's begin to change your life. Thank you.